I'm Holly St. Pierre, the Interpreter and CART Referral Specialist at the Rhode Island Commission on the Deaf and Hard of Hearing. The Interpreter and CART Referral Service refers qualified sign language interpreters and CART providers to government and state agencies, private and nonprofit businesses, healthcare providers, employers, K-12 schools, colleges and universities, law enforcement, and many other facilities throughout Rhode Island. We are located in the Department of Administration Building, 1 Capitol Hill in Providence. Hours of operation are 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. All interpreters must have a Rhode Island interpreter license to provide services in the state. A qualified interpreter can provide up to 25 hours of work per year within the state of Rhode Island without a license, but they must submit a license waiver form to the Rhode Island Commission on the Deaf and Hard of Hearing for each job that they take within that year. Medical providers can request a service provider by submitting a request form by email or by fax. Soon, they will be able to submit a request through our online portal, USCED. We will announce when that feature is available to the public. If a patient has a medical insurance that covers the cost of the interpreter or car provider, then the medical facility will need to submit a request form that is specific to that insurance company to the insurance company. We can provide those forms if needed. Although the referral service obtains billing information to provide to the confirmed interpreters and CART providers, we are not involved in any other form of payment or billing. If a service provider has attempted to receive payment from a facility multiple times with no luck, then RICDHH will step in to provide advocacy and information about the request to the facility to assist in the attempt to get the service provider paid for their services rendered or reserved. Interpreters and CART providers are not our employers and are not on staff with the Commission. They are independent contractors. We cannot force them to provide their services or to change their schedules to accommodate for others. Independent contractor rates vary and differ from the rates established for service providers that are on the Master Pricing Agreement, or MPA, for work paid for by the state government. In order for a service provider to take state paid jobs, they have to apply to be on the MPA by submitting a series of paperwork that RICDHH can provide. If you have any questions, you can call me at 401-222-5300 or email me at cdhh.interpreter at cdhh.ri.gov.